What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? So I'm back with you to talk about the CPI report that was released today on March the 12th. I'm going to talk about the CPI report and how the CPI report has went up over the month. So let's check this out, the data. So data-dependent Federal Reserve is likely to push back the timing of the first interest rate cut after Tuesday release of February Consumer Price Index revealed that the core inflation accelerated for a second consecutive month. And this report is coming from Kiplinger Finance, so personal finance Kiplinger, and this was by the author Dan Burroughs. So shout out to Dan Burroughs at the personal finance, Kiplinger personal finance. You can check out the articles on their website and also subscribe to their newsletter and things. So let's go more into the details. So headline inflation rose 0.4% last month. The Bureau of Labor and Statistics said Tuesday, although that matched economics forecast, it represented an uptick. It represented an uptick in prices from the 0.3% rate back in January. On an annual basis, headline inflation increased by 3.2% versus 3.1% a month ago. So as we can see, as the new year is coming, at first it seemed like everything was uh, declining, like the inflation was reducing and that they probably was going to start cutting some interest rate. But that's not the case because into a new year, we see interest rates is going up again. On an annual basis, headline inflation increased 3.2% like we discussed. Um, Economists were looking for inflation to increase 3.1% on a trailing 12-month basis. Core CPI, which strips out volatile food and energy costs, and we discussed this in many videos, like they take out the energy costs and the food costs because it's volatile, and it will have a more impact on the CPI inflation rate. So they take those out, and it's considered to be better better predictor for future prices hit 0.4 month-to-month, topping the 0.3 forecast. On an annual basis, core CPI rose 3.8% versus the expectation for 37 So most likely we don't have the next Fed meeting. Most likely they're not going to cut interest rate. We'll probably even see a more, um, hopefully, well, we never know. You might see an inch. Uh, um, you might see an increase in interest rates, so hopefully not. So although core CPI declined slightly in February, the three-month and six-month annualized rate both accelerated to 4.3% and 3.9%, respectively. Note uh, Jeff Hibbler, Director of Portfolio Management and Senior Portfolio Management at Exensu Wealth Advisors. So you can check them out over there at Exensu Wealth Advisors. Got some more information on advising on how the CPI rate is going to affect the market. So service inflation continued to drive prices increases, while goods inflation posted its first positive reading since last spring. Hibbler adds shelter inflation big thing. Housing market, crazy. Housing period, crazy. Matter of fact, I'm going to do a video on the um, the leader of the HUD, the herb, the housing and urban development. The leader of that, she resigned recently. She got about 10 more days before she officially leave her office. But she said that right now, the HUD, right now, the housing crisis in America is one of the biggest problem that she has seen in years. So let's get back into it. So shelter inflation was somewhat softer than last month, which the market seems to be taking some silence in. However, discretionary categories such as airline fares, apparel, and used cars all accelerated in a month. Very interesting. So is that more people are buying those stuff and people are increasing the prices or it's demand and supply or supply and demand. How is this one going? Um, the increases in peril, airlines and used cars had accelerated. So it seems like people are traveling more, buying more clothes and as well as purchasing used cars. So they're going to increase the price on those things as we go on into the year. Fed Chairman Jerome Powell and Federal Open Market Committee, FOMC, are looking for sustained evidence that inflation is wiped before the move to cut interest rates from 23 year high. So they want inflation to be wiped. So basically back to like, I think 2.0, I think that's the rate that they're looking at, probably even zero right now that they say wiped over the 23 years high. So after the 23 year high, as soon as possible as we can get that under the 23 year high, then they will 
then they will begin to cut interest rate. So CPI report lightly changed their calculus, experts says, meaning it could be a while longer before we could get a monetary easing out of the next Fed meeting. So what that's saying is going to be a very difficult year. Monetary policies, banking policies, new laws, a lot of things going into effect. Banks are not supplied the way they are. New laws going into effect. Program stop and the bank is short. A lot of things going to be going on in 2024, not to mention we got the election. Not to mention that this is one of the biggest election year internationally. That means across the globe, there will be a lot of elections going on. So make sure you keep your eyes and stuff onto that stuff. February CPI report now a matter of record. We turn to economics. We turn to economists, strategies, and other experts for their thoughts on what the data means for markets, macroeconomics, and monetary policy going forward. Wow. So if you go to um, Kiplinger.com, they will have some experts on a CPI report um, breakdown and things like that. Um, we have different things in regards to CPI rising and uh, just a wide variety of things that they have to take care of. So once again, it's Anzi D. Hope you got some value out of this and I'll talk to you next time. Peace.